Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today at Frazee High School, home of the Fighting Hornets, with Coach John Barlin. Howdy, John. Hi. Thanks for having us on. So how is wrestling going this year? Real well. We've uh, had another successful season up to this point, and we're still working on, got to get a few things done before the year's over yet. Well, that's okay. You know, I'm, I see we have a couple of our wrestlers standing above me here. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. Two of the bigger guys on our team. Yeah. Gentlemen, welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. Thanks, Garrett Malstrom. I'm Cody Van and Eichel. And you guys are the co-captains this year. Yes, sir. And so what weight do you wrestle? Heavyweight in 220. I wrestle 182. Okay. And so how, how are things looking for the team this year? Pretty well. We're ranked third in the state right now, so it's good. What's your next big meet? Um, HOL looks like the next big one. It should be a good tournament. Mm -hmm. So. Who's your main competitor there? Um, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of them. Perm, DL, all those guys. Perm, those guys across the border. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it seems how, how interesting that we still are having problems with those guys. Yeah, I guess. They're pretty good, though. Well, you know, we always seem to have a tremendous team here, and I'm happy that you guys are pushing it forward. Now, are you both seniors? I'm a junior. Yeah, I'm a senior. Okay, any plans for the future? I uh, go to college. Any particular place? Uh, Concordia or NDSU, probably. Any uh, thoughts of what endeavor you might take up yet? Uh, nursing, I think. Well, that's, there's all kinds of people like me around that are going to need help in the very near future. <laughs> How about yourself? You know, you've got another year to go, so you've got all kinds of time. Yeah, I'm just sort of sitting on it right now, see what happens, just keep working. So, Well, I appreciate you two gentlemen being on the show, and how are you doing uh, individually this year? Pretty good. I think I'm like 20 and 4 or something like that. Yeah, yeah I think I'm somewhere around like 23 and 6, I don't know. Who was your comp uh, most uh, toughest competitor so far that you can think of? Any, anyone in particular stand out? Uh, not really. How about with you, Garrett? Uh, probably Lucas Dam. And where is Lucas from? Um, ACGC. Ah. So what does that stand for? Uh, Atwater Cosmos Grove City. Wow. And where are they from here? Um, I don't know. Isn't that down south or? Central Minnesota. Central Minnesota. Okay. okay. Well, you know, it's uh, the, the range of wrestling has gone a long ways from when I used to be here. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Probably when you wrestled here, too. Well, yeah, you used to, you'd kind of focus on the main area yeah, within probably a 100-mile radius, and now we, we travel on a regular basis past 100 miles at each, each event. So, um, yeah, it's, wrestling has changed a lot. How many kids do you have out this year? Uh, we started with around 55, and so um, just, you know, we're probably with a few injuries and so forth. We're still around that 45 range. Okay. That's not bad. You know, anything serious on injury? No, nothing major. It's just things that keep kids out of, out of being able to compete. Well, we're wishing you all a tremendous season, and, of course, we know that you will do well. It's expected, you know. <laughs> Any final comments? Nope. No, not that I can think of. Well, like I said, best of luck to you, and best of luck to you, Coach. Anytime you need to see us, yeah. holler. Very good. Thanks for having us on, Hank. Appreciate it. And with that, yes, thank you, gentlemen. And with that, we'll be right back with another segment of Spotlight on Frazee. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm here today with Jolene Tappy. Hi, Jolene. Hi, Hank. Jolene's a teacher here at Frazee High School, but... She's also the Frazee Event Center Manager, and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Upcoming events, Jolene. Well, um, you know, winter is kind of a slow time at the Event Center, so we do have some dates available if you want to get something together. But coming up next week, we have, we have a benefit for Mark Knudsen on January 31st. And do you know a little more about that, Hank? Yes, Mark is uh, suffering from stage 3 cancer, and uh, we're going to have a benefit for him and a silent auction. There'll be uh, live music, food, and we'll be starting this out, I believe, at 5 o'clock and going on until 11 o'clock that night. Yep, there'll be some dancing and DJ set up, so come on out and, and support a great man. Yeah. You know, and Mark Mark's, uh, his, and his family have been in the area for many years. I'm a godfather for uh, one of his boys, so hopefully, you know, we have a good turnout. We appreciate you coming and helping these people through their hard times that they do have. 
And, of course, next month, you know, we've got yeah. the big one. We do. Um, next month, actually, we're pretty busy at the event center with some weddings, but one community event that we have is on February 22nd, we have the sled dog racers coming to town. So the mushers are coming. And on the, that Saturday from 10 to 3, we have a vendor show. And there's also a basketball tournament in town here. And the Frazy Go-Getters are putting on a little bit of uh, some activities at the event center in the evening that day. Yes, we are. You know, and it looks like uh, there's going to be a number of things going. You know, we, we may even have a dog talent show coming along. Hey, anything, anything works. That would be appropriate with the mushers coming, I suppose. And, and, you know, when you come to town for the 22nd for, for the sled dog races, be sure to check the businesses downtown. They will have signs up uh, announcing, you know, that they are supporters of this. And stop in and see these businesses. They'll all have specials going on. And, of course, after February, we start getting to what we think is the end of winter. Right. And, right. and, of course, that makes us think of the uh, birds, bees, and music. Right, and we're going to try something a little different. We, um, I've booked a dueling piano show on March 22nd, Saturday, March 22nd, at the event center. And tickets will go on sale February 1st, so look for a little bit more to that to come in the future. But they will be available at the Frazee Liquor Store um, through my cell, which is 218-850-0126, or also through the city office. So we're looking forward to just something a little bit different. And if you want to get through to Jolene, remember cell 850-0126 and try to call either early, well, a a after school hours would be great. Yes, I will do my best to return your call. I do get phone calls during the day and that's fine, but I just know that I can't return your call until after 3.30. All right. Thank you for being on the program, Jolene. And, Thank you. And, and just, you know, just keep staying busy. Oh, yeah. I like to be busy. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And with that, we'll catch you next week for another segment of Spotlight on Frazee.